Okay, today is November 27, 2019. It is a Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving 2019. Um, I'm outside of the... Oh, okay, let's see if this view can wait. I'm outside of the, the uh, skating rink where the star. I've done another video on it. Um, dropping off this Christmas ornament. I drive by the place quite a few times, and I'm like, man, I need to make something for him. So this is my... Christmas ornament. I designed it today, so it's a uh, personalized. It's, it's like my business card. My information's on the back side, so it's um made it personalized for ten. And just a regular one. I think I sell it for five. Um, and that's for individual orders. Uh, also been driving by this law office for like a couple of years now, so I said I want to make something for them. Figured out how to get their logo looking decent. So I'm going to drop this off on my way home. Also, there's a game tomorrow. The Gooner. Dallas Gooner, the Arsenal team. They've got a game tomorrow. So I'm going to drop this off. I've been trying to drop that off for the past couple of weeks. Um, oh, yeah. And also, um, I got I put my uh, Ninja badge on Etsy. I just happened to be checking my email. And I found out somebody had ordered it. They ordered a couple of days ago, so I just finished two of them today. They came out really nice, and I'm going to, um, um, I sent them, mailed them out today, so they'll get them. They only ordered one, only paid for one, but I'm sending them two, because that's like my first Etsy order that was like not, hey, can you order something from my Etsy store? At first it was, can you order something from my Etsy store, and I'll pay you for it, or I'll discount it so it doesn't. So it's actually free, so just to get my traffic up. And another couple of orders from family members. So this is the first person, first, quote, unquote, real unsolicited customer I've had. And it wasn't a family or friend, someone I didn't know. So they just bought it. I don't know how they found it, but they, they ordered one. It was like, okay, cool. So I'm going to send them two because I'm so happy to have them. So I'm actually up to, with all the orders, I've actually, they said, congratulations, you're up to 10 orders. Um, but I know it's really only one that actually, <laughs> that actually unsolicited. So that's cool. Um, also, uh, the rent is due in a few days, maybe like six days. Um, so that's when I was going to pay it. Um, I actually got an order to do something. There's a place in Dallas called, um, uh, Rainbow Vomit. And I'd heard about it because a friend of mine, um, did some work there. She told me about it. I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. And then I was at the makerspace. I came in after work early one morning, like one, two o'clock in the morning. I stepped in and I was like, hey, man, I've been looking for you. There's a job you may want to be able to do. And I'm like, job? Yeah, sure, because I don't have the rent money because my check was $200 from training and I don't get my next check until the end of the week and the rent is due at the middle of the week. So I don't want to pay any more late fees. So, um... So that's a job that, uh, if everything works out, I'm supposed to get the artwork today. I have to deliver by Sunday. I have to deliver by Sunday. Um, so that has to be done. Um, so that, if that works out, I'll be able to come to rent. Also, my rent, they charge me late charges, but there's only there's a law that passed in Texas that you can only charge a person so much in late charges. And... Um, it starts on, the law went in effect September 1st, 2019. My, I signed my lease on August 1st, 2019. So I'm like 10 days off of it. But then when I go back and look at what I'm, when my lease date starts, it actually starts on the 1st of September. So I'm actually under the law. So I got to go back to my apartment complex and get back. It's probably 150 over a hundred dollars in late fees, I need to get credited back to my account because they we were going back and forth. They were like, "Oh, because I showed them the law." They said, "Yeah, but you you signed your lease on August twenty first. I'm like, "Okay, I guess they got me." Then I went and checked because it's online. I'm like, "Oh no, my my lease started September first, so we're gonna go back and forth with them." But first, I need to pay my rent to make sure I'm covered on that end because um, I don't want to be just pay my rent. Then I'll fight with them. I don't want to fight with them and owe them money. So. And it's just a way I'm you know, trying to handle business now. And I've also reached out to this organization. This is a great organization in Dallas. Um, 
the uh, tenants unit. I paid twenty dollars for six months. They sent me all the information I have. They talked to me on the phone, so they're a great organization to work with um, here in Texas. And I'm gonna try to put other people onto them because uh, I just went to a free meeting and um, and I was really in a hole. I mean, I had to pay ooh, close to a thousand dollars for late fees and and. It is ridiculous. And had to get the money off my credit card. Just absolutely insane how much money I had to spend to just to stay in my, my apartment, which has a leaky roof, which they say I'm fixing. All right, also, I'm going uh, to reach out to Lexi V's dad. I just had another idea off the top. Lexi, uh, Lexi versus Dad was a video series, my favorite video series. And the, and the, and the thing I, I was telling them, they need to market that more. Um, they need to go, go hard on that. T-shirts, because they got Lexi V T-shirts, but I'm like, you need to go Lexi versus Dad. That's eye-catching. That's conversation. They need to promote that. I haven't heard back from my friend Trevor yet. Uh, he's probably taking a, a holiday break, but I just wanted to put it out there. So, I don't know what he thinks of me right now, all these crazy ideas, but I'm going to keep shooting them, you know, hey, what I have to lose. I mean, I was, I'm on the verge of being homeless, so, hey, I've got nothing to lose. All right, so I'm going to do that. Um, did I mention Lost Sunday? Okay, I'm going to, so I have to drop this off, drop the, the, the uh, Christmas ornament off. Go to the Gunner Society, drop that off, and then go to the Red Law Firm, drop that off. Then I'm waiting to get this information f about the um, about about the um, uh, vomit, the rainbow vomit, the artwork they need to have done for this weekend um, by by Sunday after Liver Day. Also, uh, someone reached out to me about doing a um, something for Quintanilla. I know I murder that every time, uh, but. I told them, give me some names. I'll put a bunch of names on the 15. So I'm trying to do that. And they need that by Sunday. So got a couple things going on. And I'm trying to go to work at the airport tonight. And tomorrow, spend Thanksgiving with my brother and his family. And watch the Saints hopefully beat up on them Falcons, on them dirty birds. So, um, but I'm, I like this. I'm enjoying it. I like, I like staying busy. I like having more things on my plate than I can handle. Um, I'd rather that than be bored and waiting and looking for work. So... All right, but that's that's what I got to do this weekend. All right, um, let me go drop this off. <sighs> oh, yeah, I spent the night in the car last night. I went left for work, went to the makerspace, slept in the car for a few hours, got up and was working. That's why I'm still in my work clothes from last night. And I'm still trying to go into work tonight, maybe around 6, and get a few hours in because I'm taking off tomorrow. I'm actually off today, but I want to get some hours in to get me some, give me some uh, extra cash for the weekend, well, just so I can pay my rent, because I'm like, I think I'm like $350 short on the rent so far, so I'm going to have to cover that with tips and hustling, alright, I'm out.